Too hard. Don't touch. Hi. Hey, back up, Bubba. Hmm? Back up. Hmm? Who am I kidding? They'd rather huh? see you than me. Hmm? I said, Hey guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome to the Homestead. It is morning, uh, the Friday before 4th of July. Um, I'm home with just the baby because five of the kids are over at my parents' cottage already, and then our oldest, Jacob, is working. My wife is at work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to start. I don't think I'll finish this today. I want to go ahead and get started on um, a new project. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, um, Homestead Dad on Instagram. And while we're talking about it, go ahead and click that uh, bell notification, thumbs up, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So, if you do, if you have been following me on Instagram, you have seen that I made a water pool heater. You want to say hi, hi? Hey? Hi. Hi. You're so funny. Um, you saw that I used a radiator and a small grill to make a pool water heater. Well, that's not going to do quite as much as I'd like it to do. So, I'm going to use this right here to make a solar water heater. Now this is just a quarter inch sheet of um, plywood that I had around. I know I'm a big spender, but I had this around. And then some scrap two by fours that I'm gonna use to make the frame around this. And then I had some one inch um, irrigation pipe from last year when we ran water to the pigs and to the high tunnel and all that stuff. I had an extra roll. I returned that and the money for that was able to purchase two smaller, I think they're half inch, um, 100, roll, 100 foot rolls of irrigation pipe and then some fittings so that I can make this into a solar heater. So I've already cut that two by four and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this together and screw it onto there. And then uh, we'll see if I can start rolling some pipe out. Oh, my back still hurts. So let's see how this goes. Hi. Hi.
everything else on the homestead. This does not need to win a beauty contest. It just needs to function. Uh, this board has got a big bend to it. The um, plywood is wonky. But as long as it works mostly, it'll be fine. It shouldn't affect the, the function at all. So I'm gonna stand this up and see if I can screw the frame into the plywood while standing up because it's really been hurting my back. So let's see if we can do it. So we've got the, the box part of it built. Um, I don't know, I suppose if I grab some sawhorses, I might be able to set this up. Or maybe if I go set it on the picnic table. That might be the ticket, setting it on the picnic table. And then I can try to run the wire out here. Just my back bending over is killing me right now. And again, I don't have to do this right now. It's just he and I are hanging outside. Right? Yeah. You guys have seen him say hi plenty of times. Um, so we'll see if we can get this done. Okay, um, I need to drill a hole through the end so that the pipe can come through there and we can have a fitting on the outside of it. So I'm gonna start on the, that corner because that's where I'll start wrapping the pipe. And then I was thinking about it and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hole on this side in the middle because hopefully I've got enough that when I wrap it around and around and around and around, it ends up in the middle and can go out there. That's what I'm going with. I can always fill it in with insulation or something if I need to. Okay. He wants to go walk the cow. He's not old enough to do that yet. yourself a favor and when you're drilling your holes make sure there's no screws there that first hole over there hit a screw sharpen these up that's a little bit better now but um, yeah oops okay I'm gonna grab the lower blow this out and we'll see if we can get these things working
just starting my fourth loop and I'm just about done with that roll. It'll maybe go like another time and a half around. And then I've got one more roll. So I gotta figure out if I need to get a third 100 foot roll of half inch pike. Um, I think there's a good, good possibility I need to. So this is probably going to be a multi-day project. My, um, my back said, you're done, let's go inside. So I'm gonna take that guy in the house. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? A water? Yeah. That's not just a regular water. What kind of water is that? Is that seltzer water? Yeah. You want some? Yeah. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. We're going to go inside. We'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. So, it's um, more than a little bit later. We went inside. I came back out, I think, when he was taking a nap, and I just tried to knock out one roll. Like I said, my back was really hurting then. It's feeling much better now. So, this is one roll of 100 feet. I've got one more roll of 100 feet. I'm definitely going to need at least one more roll. But it's been a week later. I haven't gotten it done. I will bring you guys along when I finish this up. So there will be a part two to this. But this is, and I want to show you quickly the clips that I use to hold this down. I still need to put the hose fitting on here. And I've got a union on the end of this. But I'm just using these clips. i got a bag of 100 of them. They uh, hammer in. But you can see... Like this is starting to kind of bunch up. So I may have to put in another one here. Ooh, that's not even pushing down at all. Like that. So I may put like a bar across to keep it from um, bunching up so that more solar energy gets to it. But so far, this is what we got. So part two will be upcoming hopefully soon. But thank you for watching part one. Uh, click on that thumbs up. Click on the subscribe so you don't miss part two. And then I'll probably have a part three and four as how it works, what kind of temperature readings I'm getting and all that stuff. So click on the subscribe so you don't miss those things. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you and your family. And I will see you guys in the very next video.